Hey, this is Ben Glenn, building success brick by brick, coming to you with another helpful tip. Tip number 17. What can I say? I'm, I'm a fan of Will Ferrell. Hey, Mom! Mom! Where's the meatloaf? That's what we call having bad manners. Mm, it's actually going to be a pretty nice Saturday. We're, we're going to go to Home Depot. Yeah. Buy some wallpaper. Bring, bring the meatloaf! Maybe some flooring stuff, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. I took the restrictor plate off the Red Dragon to give it a little bit more juice. It isn't exactly what you call street legal, so you know, keep that on the down low. Maybe go to Bed Bath & Beyond. I, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have time for that. I don't know. A movie that's a little unusual for Will Ferrell, the slapstick comedian from SNL, is a movie called Stranger Than Fiction, and it happens to be one of my favorites. Will Ferrell plays a character by the name of Harold Crick in this movie, Stranger Than Fiction, and he is an IRS agent. And so his life is pretty bland, quite boring, until he starts to hear a voice in his head. And it's not his voice. I mean, we're all used to hearing our own inner voice, that inner dialogue, but he starts hearing a voice of an author, somebody who begins to narrate his life. Every time he does something, it's as if somebody is, is speaking his life into a book. The voice pushes him a little bit over the edge as it begins to narrate how he is feeling in that moment and he pauses and he looks up to the heavens and he screams will you shut up? We too, like Harold Crick, need to scream back at that that voice that we hear in our head but rather some author writing a story it's our own voice. It's that inner dialogue that loves to put us down and to tell us that we're no good. So my building success brick by brick tip for you today is learn to protect yourself from you. It's interesting that when somebody asks us to describe how we see ourselves, we have a tendency to highlight all of the negative things first. To start fortifying your defenses, to begin to protect yourself from you. I want you to write yourself a letter of recommendation. I want you to highlight and work hard to think about all of the wonderful things about you. What are you good at? What do people like about you? What do you like about yourself? What are some of the things that you've achieved that you're proud of? Nothing's too small, nothing's too big. Write it down because it's you recognizing that you have value that you belong, that you have a purpose that will fortify those walls of defense. So the next time you begin to drop angry negative bombs on you about you, you can scream out, we're being attacked, and you can battle. Hey, this is Ben Glenn, and as always, love, peace, and hair grease, and I want to encourage you to do one thing. Keep on building.